Hi guys, it's Becca. Um, it's been a while since I've made a YouTube, but I wanted to uh, YouTube this journal because I'm doing the September uh, Stash Buster Challenge 2020 with Dear Julie Julie. And this is what I came up with. I used um, uh, travel uh, themed papers and stuff. And we dug in. So here's the spine. I did a wrap around because I'm not sure if I want to add some more papers or whatever. And I just tied a little bow. And this is the front. I did some sewing around the this piece right here before I put it on the book. So that's my um, cover. And the back's plain. And then in the inside, I didn't put any pockets yet. I thought about it, but I really like this blank. I may put postcards when I start using it. And then here's my first page. We had to use scraps of paper. So I'm just gonna go through it real quick and show y'all what I got. These were leftovers. Some pages. Um, a ruffle, paper ruffle. Um, this was an old calendar and I just kind of sewed, a, not sewed to it, but I sewed a little piece of, of leftover graph paper on right there so I could put a date because it had the date, the year, or whatever. And then here we got a envelope and I took some book pages that I thought were kind of cool, the face of that lady. Um, some embossing paper, but this, this envelope, this was a junk mail envelope. And then we have the rest of that calendar, a piece of scrap from one of the book pages, more scraps, but I made it into a, the other side of that paper. I put some piano paper on a book page that I used so that I could do some writing. Here's some more scraps. Um, this one I actually, when I sewed it and everything, I didn't realize I had sewed it upside down. And I didn't want my flower on this side and this to be upside down, so I just left it that way. I think I can change it later. It's no big deal. Um, then I took some, a punch that I hadn't used in a long time on some of the paper, made pockets, used that punch again on some leftover scrap. This is also a piece of an envelope I had left over from another project, another envelope. And you can tuck stuff here and tuck stuff here. This page opens. You can take this out. There it, this is, I made this so I could put a picture in it and you just stick it in the little pieces. But that's a pocket. This is a pocket here. And then this is a pocket. Maybe I should have put a little ticket. There we go. Here's some more. Oh, this one doesn't open. It's just thick. Or maybe it does open. Oh, yeah. It does open. <laughs> I forgot. Um, then here's some more tickets. This is tickets that I just stuck in there. Made a little collage cluster. Um, used some more of the, um, paper scraps and made some more, uh, ruffles. 
uh, I have a little punch that does these punch so I decided to make a couple where I could just slip these in and out if I wanted or I could write on them but I wanted to put maybe pictures in there there we go and then this one this one has uh, a card here a cluster and then and what I did is I put some of my favorite washies, travel washies on here for when I take this traveling, I can use those without having to take all my stuff. So there's that one. This. I can put a picture here, pictures here. Here's some more writing stuff. Vintage, um letters thought that was cute and then who where when this one's a little pocket you can put receipts or something in same thing here and then I did another uh, cluster and sewed onto it some stickers this is just our trip how it went and I sewed it but it's not a pocket or anything. It's just that. Oh, uh, this is a clip, paper clip. Oops. I think. There we go. And then here we go with this. Some more ruffles. Oh, this one was scraps of paper, so that was my base. I uh, had a book page, and I sewed just the pieces I had left of some book pages, or scrapbooking paper. Here we go, here. I used some stickers and some washi tape and washied around this one. Some more uh, book page, and then this is scrapbooking paper. Um, I used washi over a book page. I had some wide map paper and then some Tim Holtz uh, numbers and I just put just collaged it on there. Use that punch again. And then this one I used a uh, envelope and I folded it up and I have um, two papers that I could journal cards and then you also have this pocket and then when you turn it you're gonna have this pocket the actual um, uh oh did I get it stuck yeah I got it stuck in there and that's another journal card in there but that's a uh, envelope it was a long envelope so I folded it up and then I took an, uh, two other envelopes right here and then made this tuck right here, made a collage. Um, that folds up underneath there. And then this is a tuck or a pocket. And then here's another pocket. But that was three different envelopes that I used to make that little signature right here. That was just scrapbooking paper. Um, I had strips, so I sold them together to make a full page. And I used some stickers and some wax seals somebody gave me. And then these are just, I got these from AliExpress and then... I have a stamp that stamps destination, so I use that. Um, then we have this it comes out, and you can write on it. And I kind of put a date and dear and love. Thought that was kind of cute. It's probably my favorite page. And then I sewed around it. Then I put some bits and pieces with the word travel. Um, one of the things with the st uh, stash busters, we had to make a tag page, and I thought this was the super cutest thing. So I took a piece of scrap that was not very big. I didn't want to cut off of it, 
and made a tag, um, an actual tag. And then I made a pocket out of one side to put a fake postcard in, some tags. And I just made it as a signature. And then here we go with the, oh, this one's a pocket, this one's a pocket. It opens, and then it opens again. You have paper on, whoops, paper on this side, paper, I collage, graph paper, open it back up. And then this side does the same thing. I put two tags, and then we got a tag here. And most of these are all leftovers from another journal that I made. And then here's the other side of that tag. Here's this one. There we go. And then I just did a cluster there. Strips. Whatever I had left and I sewed around it. The strips that I used to make a full page. I used that. Stamp. Again, I used um, the corners to be able to put pictures. This is a book page that was um, a map page, and I took the bottom and made destination. I'm actually from Texas, so that would be. I thought that was cute. And then I made a tuck spot and a little cluster with a stamp. Here we go on this side. I took some of the stamps that I had and made a belly band. And this was a book page picture I took out and made it look like a postcard. And then we had to use stickers. So I did some of my um, travel stickers, put experience to sightseeing, rest stop. And then here's the inside. You can write. You can write on here. I did a little belly band. I sewed on both sides. Sticker here. Destination. Then here's the other side of that book page map. I left it blank because I really like seeing that. And then um, made a tuck. And then this one, I put a few papers just in case I wanted to write some notes and stuff like that when we went somewhere I'm not even sure if I'll use this book and then just a plain page and then I again I didn't use any pockets which I may go back and put pockets in the inside but that is my book and I haven't put a Thing around it but I think I feel like it turned out really good and that was for the September stash buster challenge 2020 with dear Julie Julie thanks for watching